Alright. Welcome everyone back to Classic Tetris Pal. And thank you for both the restream and the raid there, Sir Mesa. Your help has been highly appreciated, as well as uh, Paulister's help with commentating. But either way, we have our next matches of Alex vs. Marcos and Schnecker vs. Andre, I think. Actually, no. Alex vs. Marcos isn't up yet. That's the next match. So it's actually Schnecker vs. Andre and Smalling Captain vs. Pumis. I guess that makes sense. Anyway, I will get that set up for you now. And there we go. There's our match of Schnecker versus Andre and Somalian Captain versus Pumis. So huge thank you to Herbit for the subscribe. So tier two subscription nonetheless. Either way, when all players are ready, we can in fact get these matches underway. Pumi says he's ready. Somalian says he's ready. Alright, Andre is ready. Just need to wait for Schnecker to be ready. Schnecker is indeed ready, so let's get these matches underway. Let's go. Players ready in three, two. One. Tetris. So we have some very consistent sacking going on the minute. Pumis decides to get the first Tetris of the match. Very shortly followed by Andre and then Somalian. Schnecker unfortunately having to wait for that eyepiece. 
Just having to do safe burn after safe burn. And there we go, there's the Tetris for Schnecker. Unfortunately having to take a hole for it due to no LPs. So however we have both Pumis and Andre in the 90,000 points already with a very good lead in both sections. However, Somalian has quickly caught up. It's on the right side, it's now 96,000 to 101,000 now. Check just going to do just a little bit of burning. Potentially setting up for a Sentinel Tetris here. They have the ability to do so, and they are going to go for it. So there's a Sentinel Tetris for Schnecker. They're going to go for the single burn there. And they are indeed Tetris ready. J piece on the left would be good though. Unfortunately, getting it a little bit too late. They do get the Tetris anyway. Although meanwhile on the right hand side, it's still a very equal game right now. I'd probably say Prumis has the nicer looking stack at the minute, but even still, stack shapes don't mean too much of a difference right now. Somalian Tetris ready yet again, going for the Tetris. Andre topping out very early on with 171,000 points, so Schnecker could still be taking this game. Meanwhile, on the right hand side, though, we have Somalian slowly gaining a lead. It's not a huge lead, but it is a very gradual lead that's happening. But both players' stacks are looking relatively clean right now. I sh probably shouldn't have said that because Somalian stack has now taken some serious damage. They can't get anything over to the left, so they will be topping out with 247,000 points. So Pumis will be taking game one. Is Schnecker capable of getting to 171,000 points? They are, so Schnecker will be taking game one as well. So either way though, we have Somalian that's ready, we have Pumis that's ready, we have Andre that is ready. Just waiting for Schnecker. And we have Schnecker that is ready. So, let's go. Game 2 both sides. Players ready in 3, 2, 1. Tetris. There we go, we had a, a slight mishap from Andre there at the start, but it's perfectly fine. He's still going to be Tetris ready off this LP, so there's the Tetris for Andre. Boom is just waiting for an eyepiece, wherever that may be. Where is the eyepiece? There it is. But unfortunately, can't get it over. That's going to be incredibly dangerous. Can't get it over again. Pumas will be topping out with only 6,000 points. Somalian taking game number two. That is a filthy misdrop. Both players are ready again, so I shall quickly count them down. So, right hand side, game number three. Players ready in three, two, one. Tetris. But Schnecker topping out as well, what is this? So Andre is going to be taking game number two. Everyone has a point.
they just, this just seems to be the scenario of just a random mistake happening and people just top out. But either way... Both sides are... well, both people on the left-hand side are ready, so I should count them down as well. So, left-hand side, gain number two. Players ready in. Three, two, one. It's Hetris. So either way, going over to the right-hand side, we currently have a very dominant lead by Pumis at the minute. 96,000 to Somalians, only 41,000. And Pumis' stack is definitely looking a little bit better. So Pumis now at 120,000. Somalian, unfortunately, unable to get the pieces that he needs for the Turks. Getting something over to the left-hand side is going to be a little bit tricky, but possible. There we go. Let's burn it down. And we're back to the same scenario. Go, oh, he's burned it down. Burn it. He needs something to burn. He can't burn it. He's going to top out 49,400 points. Not enough, so Pumis will be taking game number three. I actually thought he was going to burn with the Z piece there, but decided not to. So either way, looking over at the left-hand side, we have Schnecker in the lead by about one Tetris and a nicer looking stack. Even if it's on the left-hand side, there's another Tetris coming out from Schnecker. He's deciding to move his well over to the right-hand side now. And both players on the right-hand side are ready, so I shall quickly count them down. So, right-hand side, game before. Players ready in. Three, two, one. Tetris. Either way, we see Andre working his way down the stack for now. He's managing to clear off all the holes. There we go. All holes have been cleared. He now needs to work his way up to making himself Tetris ready again. So hopefully with the right pieces. There we go. Just needs that eyepiece. Wherever that may be, unfortunately, definitely that's not the pieces he was hoping for right there. He can skim off the top, but it's going to be a bit of a problem, and he's going to be topping out with 110,000 points. Because of that, Schnecker will be taking game number three. The way moving over to the right hand side, we have Somalian digging his way down. Nice little clean right there. Meanwhile, Pumis is waiting for that eyepiece as well as something to put over to the left. There we go, the left side problem has been averted. So, if we can just find a little eyepiece right there. Here's hoping the eyepiece arrives. And in the meantime, Somalian's getting a Tetris of his own to 134,000 points. But Somalian fires back with a Tetris of his own to 97,000. And both players on the left-hand side are ready, so I shall quickly count them down. So, left-hand side, gain number four. Players ready in. Three, two, one. Tetris. And speaking of Tetris, there's a Tetris for Pumis right there. Bring this up to 145,000 points. And a little safe burn from Somali in there as he gets another Tetris in the process. And another Tetris coming out from Somali in. Pumis is in extreme danger right here. He's only at 151,000 points as well, so he will be topping out, giving Somalian a point. 
we have a decider. And they're both immediately ready for this. So let's get the deciding game underway. Right hand side, players ready in. Three, two, one. Tetris. So while we haven't had a, any games getting too far into the kill screen so far, we have definitely had people readying up almost immediately. It's very surprising as we get another Tetris from Andre as well. He just needs one more and he's caught up. Meanwhile, Schnecker getting a Tetris of their own, Andre firing back. 164 to Schnecker and 148 on Andre. Meanwhile, on the right hand side, we have both players with the Tetris so far. Let me say, Primus' stack is looking a little bit better though. Somalian really needing an eyepiece right now. Unfortunately, he's getting it just the wrong time. And Somalian's going to be in some serious trouble right now. With only 30,000 points topping out, Pumas will be taking game number six and the match. So we made over to here. That's a very quick decider, though. <laughs> Somalian saying that might have been his fastest CTP set yet. I mean, I could, I could definitely see that. The speed in which these matches are going at the minute is nuts. But either way, on the left hand side we have Schnecker with 273 and now 296,000 points to Andre's 261. Andre's stack looking ever so slightly better, but it's again, it's only slight. So both stacks are looking pretty decent. Andre unfortunately not getting the pieces that he needed to deal with the situation on the left there. And a miss drop from the twist. He has, however, created a column free well for himself in the process. So he could get something out of this. Emphasis on the cut there if the eyepiece arrives. There we go. There's a Tetris for Andre and another eyepiece. There's another Tetris for Andre. He gets himself into 313,000 points, taking the lead ever so slightly as Schnecker fires back to retrieve it. There we go, there's Andre with another Tetris. Schnecker making themselves Tetris ready. Both players just looking for that eyepiece right now. Andre unfortunately going to have to cover the well and a slight misdrop on the O is going to be causing some damage to his stack. He needs a J-piece as soon as possible. Unfortunately, the J-piece didn't arrive in time and his stack's only getting worse, so we will be topping out of 341,000 points. Schnecker taking game number four and the match. I say, either way though, we have Schnecker and Pumis moving on in the loser's bracket, as well as our next match of Alex versus Murkush. So she'll get those two matches ready for you now.
Alright, there we go. Here's our last four contestants. We have Alex, we have Mukesh, we have Schnecker, and we have Pumis. And once this is done, there shall only be three left. say either way, whenever players are ready, we can begin. Alex ready, we have Schnecker ready, we have Pumas ready, we have Mokush ready, that is it. So, let's get these matches underway then. So let's go. Players ready in 3, 2, 1, Tetris. So we have some relatively uh, clean stacking out of most of the players here. We have Alex with two Tetrises already. He is on fire today. So Mukesh with a slight mishap over on the left hand side there. Should be able to burn it down, but it will cost him a few lines. Meanwhile, on the right-hand side, though, we have Schnicker with 72,000 points, making themselves Tetris ready. So they're now at 95,000 points. To Pumas is only 54,000. However, Pumas has made themselves Tetris ready. They just need to get an eyepiece, but they have just blocked their well. Had the potential of making themselves Tetris ready there. Unfortunately, eyepiece arrived just a little bit too early, so they had to bail. Although on the left-hand side, we currently have Lucas with a Tetris, bringing themselves up to 107,000 points to Alex's 109,000, who is Tetris ready. Both players just looking for that eyepiece. Both players find it. Tetris for both players. 133 to 129. Alex getting yet another Tetris as well. He just needs a J-piece, and it makes his attack real clean. Unfortunately, he didn't arrive soon, but he is adjusting. He's making himself column free well instead. He gets the column free Tetris. He's just taking Tetris wherever he can. And there's another column free Tetris. 202,000 points to Mukash's 201, so despite the mishap, he's still there. Poom is topping out, however, with only 95,000 points, so Schnecker will be taking the first game. Pumas is ready for his next game, just waiting on Schnecker, but meanwhile on the left hand side we have 255,000 points to Alex, to 229 on Murkosh, Murkosh with a Tetris though, Alex firing right back, a centre wild Tetris on that end. So Alex just having a bit of a situation to deal with here, it's going to be causing a bit of damage to his stack in the process. 
while Mokash could be using this opportunity to uh, start increasing his lead here to 322,000. And Schnecker is ready, so I shall quickly count them down. So, right hand side, game number two. Players ready in. Three, two, one. Tetris. Heading back to the left hand side though, there was a Tetris from Alex, bringing himself up to 319,000 points. So he's still a few Tetris behind now. Well, Bush is going to have to deal with a slight situation on his well right there. He got a Tetris anyway, he has burned it down. Just a few more lines and he'll end up solving everything. There we go. Alex now a couple of Tetrises behind. He makes himself Tetris ready, however, Mokrush with a Tetris of his own. Alex getting that Tetris as well. This lead is slowly closing, but meanwhile on the right hand side we have a Simul Tetris happening. As much, we have 94,000 points to 73,000. However, uh, Pumas scoring a Tetris, Schnecker firing back. So this lead appears to be sticking for now. Schnecker just needs to find that eyepiece. Wherever that eyepiece may be, there it is. There's the Tetris for Schnecker. Pumas firing back though, getting a Tetris at the same time. However, Pumas is Tetris ready, while Schnecker has to deal with a slight amount of jackness. Alex topping out with 485,000, which isn't enough. Murkash will be taking game number one. Either way, heading back over to the right hand side though. We have Schnecker who's about a Tetris ahead right now but a slight misdrop over on the left hand side. They're gonna have to burn down a little bit just to make it possible. And there we go. Burning down but the L misdrop over on the right hand side is going to be fatal as they top out with 178,000. Not quite enough for Pubish yet but just a few more burns and he's got it. Go, 165, 167. It's not enough nothing yet. Hundred and seventy-two. Go, he goes to the triple. Hundred and seventy-eight, seventy-nine, there we have it. Here is with a point. Right, anyway, we have Alex that's ready, we have Murkush that is ready, we have Pumas that's ready, just waiting on Schnecker here. Uh, is your stream down? I will quickly refresh that just in case. That is just a slight hiccup, it's okay. At least I think it's a slight hiccup. It's hard to tell with capture cards that are at like 30 FPS. Because it, it you can only just see the flash of the 8. Alright, anyway. There's even more readies. We're still waiting on Schnecker though. Twenty-five FPS in this case, correct. The problem with the capture is cheap capture cards, they don't actually know what 240p is, so they immediately take it as 480i, as like, you know, interlaced. So they take one frame, and then the next frame they think is what's supposed to be in between it. But 
But anyway, I shall count them, count everyone down as they're all ready. So let's go. Players ready in three, two, one. Tetris. Richard says we need more cams. Correct. There is. There, I have noticed there has been a decrease in cameras to what's it to this month. But either way, let's say we have uh, both players on the left hand side with a Tetris, but both players on the right side have immediately fallen into a bit of trouble. So there's no Tetris there. However, Pumas is managing to deal with the stack for now. Schnecker has got themselves Tetris ready already. There we go, there's a Tetris for Schnecker, and they've made themselves Tetris ready immediately. Meanwhile, on the right hand side, we have Alex, who is again popping off with a 97,000 score to Mufsh's only 39, now 61, thanks for Tetris. Either way, Schnecker just doing a little bit of digging right now. Doom is the stack looking pretty jagged. But it is easily dealt with. There we go. Just need to make themselves Tetris ready again. Either way, on the left hand side, there's another Tetris coming out from Alex to 171,000 points. However, his stack is getting a bit jagged, so there will be holes forming. Fits the IPC in there for a triple. So he will be needing another L or an I. There's the I. It's not entirely solved it. However, he is getting into a very nasty L slash J dependency. There's an I to solve that. And there's a Tetris from Alex. It's pretty much dealt with himself there. But Murkash has used that moment to catch back up again. There's only about a 10,000 point deficit right now. Meanwhile, on the right hand side, we have Pumis with the center well right now. However, they've just blocked it. And Schnecker getting yet another Tetris to bring their lead to nearly 70,000 points. A free Tetris lead there. And by the looks of things, it's only going to get wider as Pumis still needs to downstack. He appears to be putting more and more weight onto the hole that he needs to clear. This is definitely not going to end well for him. Unfortunately, creating another hole thanks to an O piece. Things are going to get dicey. Clears it down, clears it down, clears another one, but puts more weight on the hole. Another hole created. He is finding his way down though. The hole's open. That's one hole cleared. Slowly finding his way down. Although he has created another hole in the process. There we go. The hole's open. The hole's cleared. The other hole's open. The hole is cleared. Now he just needs to deal with his right side. There we go. The hole is open. That's one hole cleared. He is finding his way down now. And Mulkosh topping out with only 330,000 points, so Alex will be taking game number two already. And Pumas getting into a bit too much trouble here, topping out with 158,000 points, so Schnecker will be taking game number three. So we have Schnecker on match point now. Richard says people getting tired. I mean, I guess I can understand that. It's around about 8 o'clock here, and of course it's only going to be later the further east you go to the Europe. Thank you. 
We need the way, we have Mokos ready, we have Pumas ready, we have Schnecker ready, just waiting on Alex to be ready here. He's just gonna enter the kill screen here. Here we go, Alex is ready. He got his 500k. So, let's get these games underway then. So, game number three on the left side, indeed. And game number four on the right side, let's go. Players ready in, three, two, one, Tetris. So either way though, on the left hand side we have both players of the Tetris immediately. Schnecker getting one afterwards, Pumis having to deal with a slight situation on their stack, but it's okay. The game has only begun. There we go, their stack has now been normalised. Didn't need to build up, Schnecker with the Tetris. However, their parity is getting a little bit uh, dicey here, but they do solve it. Way, heading back to the left hand side, we currently have a Tetris lead for Murkosh. Alex just waiting on that line. Where is it? It's constantly having to burn just in hopes that it arrives. There it is. Tetris for Alex. It's Alex, unfortunately, uh. Hogging is well there a little bit. But again, it's, it's solvable, it's solvable. But heading over to the right hand side, we have a Tetris lead for Schnecker. Or shall I may say, make that a two Tetris lead now that they've scored another one? Pumis just waiting on the eyepiece. So much eyepiece waiting right now. There it is, there's the eyepiece for Pumas, the Tetris for Pumas just needs to make itself Tetris ready again. He's arriving just a little bit too early for him though. Okay, Pumas going for a couple of burns right there, it's perfectly fine. Where is that eyepiece? Where is that eyepiece? There it is, Tetris for Pumas. Bringing itself up to 161,000 to Schnecker's 180. Another Tetris for Pumas. Taking the lead by a very small amount, Schnecker getting the Tetris back though. Meanwhile though, on the left hand side we have Alex with a bit of a situation here on his sensor well, but he does get a Tetris out of it. He will be covering it up just a little bit, but it's fine, he can also use that to open up column 3 and get a Tetris out of that to 204,000. Just another 90,000 to go before he catches up. He goes to the column 2 Tetris right there. He's opting to burn to make his stack a bit more normal again. So Mokosh going for yet another Tetris, has a bit of an eyepiece dependency on the left however. He does get the eye. So Mukrish's lead is only rising at the minute. With Alex getting another Tetris though. Mukosh getting an eyepiece but not being Tetris ready. Gonna have to shove it over to the left getting another eyepiece though. Tetris for Mukosh. And another Tetris for Mukosh for 395,000. He's definitely on a great pace right now. Alex just having to burn a little bit right there. Meanwhile, on the right hand side, we have Schnecker with a massive lead. 375,000 points to 294. Pumis with a nice little S spin right there. And Alex topping out at 284,000. So Mukash will be taking game number three. 
Not sure if Mercosh wants to continue or not. You know, it's a good base. But either way, heading over to the right hand side again. We have the lead closing a little bit as Pumas catches up. 407 to 470 now. Now for now 393 thanks to a Tetris. Pumas just cleaning up their stack a little bit. Let's say every, everyone's starting to get pretty close to the kill screen now. 129 is now 130 for Schnecker. Schnecker now fighting to get as much score as they can. However, Pumas' stack is getting more and more dangerous as they enter the kill screen. There we go, 128 lines, 130 lines, 444,000 points. That's not going to be enough. Pumas will top out. Schnecker will be taking game number four <coughs> and the match. Meanwhile, Mokos with a 600k game right there. Still going. 607. 608. 609. It's looking for something big here. 610. There's the Tetris for 637. He enters level 22. Needs to get something over to the left and fast. Hole created. This is going to be slightly problematic. He does open it up. He does clear it. Although the stack priority still isn't too great right now. It's potential of creating even more holes as he still manages to single out though. Get something over to the left. Exactly what we need right now. There we go, 659,000 points. Still going. Absolutely incredible game right now. 63, 64, 65, 67. Yeah, 75. Stack's getting higher, this is going to cause a bit of a problem. IP is coming at the wrong time. But it's fine. He's still got it. Ooh. This is getting dirty. This stack just isn't capable of keeping hold of it. So, 686,900 points. Into level 26. Very good game. <laughs> I say, either way, though. Sort this out. More gosh is ready anyway, and Alex is ready, so let's count this down here. We have match point for Murkosh right here. So let's go. Players ready in three, two, one. Tetris. So we have Murkush celebrating by building a house. Unfortunately, this is this is not the uh, this, this is not a building simulator. This, this is in fact classic Tetris Pal.
I say anyway, uh, chat aside, so looking at the scores here, we're currently at 17, no, no, now we're at 102,000 to Mukush's 99,000, so the game's looking relatively good. Yeah, though we have Alex with 147,000 to only 106,000 right now. Alex's stack is looking pretty good. Mokosh is, is unfortunately in a bit of a disrepair, but he does get a Tetris out of the chaos. He's looking great. See, so Alex just waiting on that eyepiece right now. Goes for a safe little triple burn. Mokosh unfortunately hesitating a bit there. It's going to cause a hole in his stack. He is in fact Tetris ready on column 3. He gets the Tetris. He's just getting a Tetris wherever he can right now. He needs a J though. Unfortunately the J doesn't arrive so it's going to cause even more damage to his stack. Alex with a yet again another Tetris. Nice clean stacking right there. Now 252,000 to 161. Mokosh with some safe burns. Just waiting on the knife piece. There it is, Tetris Mokosh. Again, waiting for the knife piece, but Alex with the top out at 255,000 points. Is this the game? Is this the match? Especially the play, uh, playing a little bit safe right there, getting a Tetris. He only needs one more to win. Oops, there's a triple. Less than 5,000 points away now. Take any risks here. Just for a nice little double right there. 255 and Tetris for Murkush. Taking the game and the match. So Murkush advances to the finals. Alex drops down to the losers bracket to fight against Schneck. So don't worry Alex, you're not out just yet, but you will have to fight for your right to stay in. bracket. We have our next match being Alex versus Schnecker. One person heads over to the finals, the other person shall be taken out of the tournament. I shall prepare the game for you now.
There we go. We have a second to last match of Alex versus Schnecker. Like I said, he is tired and nervous. I mean, Schnecker, just, just think about it this way. If you think you're nervous, just remember, you have taken Adam out before. Players are ready now, so let's get these games underway then. Let's go. Players ready in three, two, one, Tetris. Relatively clean stacking going on so far. Just a couple of burns here and there. Both players currently waiting on their eyepieces. There's an eyepiece for Alex, there's an eyepiece for Schnecker. However, Alex gets two tetrises out of this. Some more Tetris coming out from Alex, 77,000 to Schnecker's 74,000. Another Tetris coming out from Alex. the uh, game and not the chat. I'm getting distracted again. So we have Alex still in the lead, 157,000 now to 129,000. Schnecker's stack looking a little bit better right now. However, Alex's stack is still definitely workable. Just needs J. Fortunately, no J. Getting a Tetris right here to 180,000. Finding his way down. There we go. TP's Tetris. 203,000 as he takes the lead. Alex, however, taking it back. Okay, Schnecker just waiting on that eyepiece right now. There it is. Tetris for Schnecker. Alex unfortunately having to burn, not able to get the Tetris that he wants. Just needs a J though. Where is the J? Pops in for an L burn instead. There 
we go. There's another Tetris coming out from Alex. 253 to 254, but Schnecker getting another Tetris, bringing it up to 277. Alex firing back, though. There he is, another Tetris coming out from Alex. Schnecker just needing that eyepiece. Where is the eyepiece? Yes, it is. Tetris for Schnecker, 309,000. Alex firing back. Schnecker just having to make himself Tetris ready here. There we go. It's in the eyepiece. And there's a Tetris. 334 to Alex's 346. Alex getting yet another Tetris, bringing himself up to 371. There is starting to be a bit of a gap forming. However, Schnecker could very easily grab it back. He makes himself Tetris ready here. Both players waiting on an eyepiece pretty desperately. There we go, Tetris for Schnecker. Alex having to burn. Another Tetris coming out from Alex, though. using the eyepiece to get rid of the potential dependency over on the left there. It's pretty nice and safe. There's another Tetris for Alex, followed by Schnecker. Got a one Tetris lead, still. Both players going relatively consistently right now. Alex is, however, only one Tetris away from the kill screen. Is he going to go for that Tetris? Where is the eyepiece? He's one line away. Where is the eyepiece? There is no eyepiece. Eyepiece does not exist. There it is, right as he tops out. 460,000. And Schnecker gets that last Tetris right for the kill screen, taking game one. But that was an incredibly close game. Schnecker is now ready. So, let's go towards game number two. Let's go. Players ready in. Three, two, one. It's Tetris. So the game has begun, we have both players with a Tetris. And Alex getting his second one. Schnecker building up his sack on the left side. He's a little bit more on the right, there we go, there's a Tetris for Schnecker. And another Tetris for Schnecker, making himself up to 71,000 points. Alex still waiting on the eyepiece. So there we go, we've got another Tetris coming out from Alex to 98,000 points. Schnecker just needs an eyepiece to equalise it. There we go. Tetris for Schnecker moving up to 104,000.
Here we go, another type is coming out. 150,000 for Schnecker now. Alex looking to get a Tetris on column 3. Just hoping for that eyepiece. There it is, Tetris for Alex. So both players still in the 170k range. Another Tetris coming out for Schnecker. Nice little tuck there from Alex. Just waiting for the eyepiece. There it is, Tetris for Alex. Interesting little tucks happening right now. See Alex opting for the triple there. Looks like he might be moving his stack back over to the right. Meanwhile, Schnecker has used the uh, opportunity to gain a two Tetris lead. There we go, Schnecker with another Tetris, bringing himself up to 270,000 points to Alex's 229. But Alex getting yet another Tetris, bringing himself up to 251. Can he get another eyepiece? He does, but at the wrong time. It's okay, there's another eyepiece. Brings himself up to 277. Makes himself Tetris ready again. Eyepiece just in time this time. Bring himself up to 300,000 points. Schnecker finally getting an eyepiece. They get up to 300,000 points, taking the lead back again. Schnecker now Tetris ready. Tetris for Schnecker. Tetris for Alex. Alex creating a couple of holes in his stack though. Could potentially cause issue. There we go. Schnecker aiming for a triple right now. It's currently at 358,000 points. Alex getting the Tetris, so bringing himself up to 372. Taking the lead again. So, another Tetris coming out for Schnecker there. 389,000 points. So the lead is slowly closing, however Alex gets yet another threat to try and widen the gap. We go, another Tetris for Alex. Schnecker still waiting on the eyepiece. There it is, Tetris for Schnecker. He's made himself Tetris ready again, another Tetris coming out for Schnecker. Alex waiting on the eyepiece though. Schnecker having a little bit of trouble with the two wide well right there. He has burned though, it's okay. However, Alex is starting to t but he's starting to trail away a little bit. It's currently about a slightly over a one Tetris lead. Got another Tetris coming out from Alex. Another Tetris coming out from Schnecker. The gap is starting to close again. Another Tetris coming out from Schnecker. He enters the kill screen, taking the lead ever so slightly. Alex just pleading for an eyepiece right now. Unable to find it. Topping out. Eyepiece literally the next piece when he dies. Schnecker taking game number two right now. That is the second game in a row where an eyepiece coming just a little bit too late has caused the change of the game. I'm sorry, but Alex is just not allowed to win a game. Either way, because of this, Schnecker is now on match point. So Alex will need to do a reverse sweep just to stay alive.
Is this winner's finals? Um, fortunately, no RVP. Winner's finals is next. But either way, when Schnecker is ready, we can continue. There we go, Schnecker is ready. So, let's continue with this. Game number three, players ready in three, two, one. Tetris. Here's hoping that RNG is a little bit more normal this time. So Alex having to burn a little bit at the start here. A Marshnecker with a Tetris. And Schnecker with another Tetris now. And Schnecker with another Tetris. However, his stack is ever so slightly jagged. He's going to need a T-spin to cleanly get out of this. Unfortunately, T-piece arrives just a little bit too late there. Meanwhile, Alex burning his way down. Finds his way into a column two well. Gets the eye. There's a Tetris for Alex. He's deciding to build himself up for a left side Tetris here. And there we go. It's the column one Tetris. Remember, he has created a little bit of an eyepiece dependency here on column nine. Gets the eyepiece. Just needs J. Definitely needs a J now. Still nothing. There's J, but it's a little bit too late. But either way, over on Schnecker's side, we have 149,000, now 150,000 points, now 172,000 points. So Alex, unfortunately, by the looks of things, unless something seriously changes in his stacking here, this could be the end for him. There we go. He's cleaned himself up. He needs an eyepiece. Where is that eyepiece? Unfortunately, going to have to create a little bit of a hole over there. He gets the Tetris. How is he going to get around to solving this? Managing to move as well over to column three. He's not quite Tetris ready yet, but a couple of tucks does make him Tetris ready. Tetris for Alex. Very good compromise right there. There we go. Tetris coming out from both players. Schnecker has definitely used this opportunity to gain a lead, but Alex is definitely back in action. Just needs a J to clean his stack up a little bit here. There we go. Is Tetris ready. However, he's now blocked the well. was in a little bit of disrepair there, but three eyepieces in a row saves him and gets him the Tetris. Schnecker still going though. 328,000 points to Alex's 257. Another Tetris coming up from Alex here. Slowly starting to catch up again. Another Tetris coming out for Schnecker. Alex waiting on the eyepiece. There we go. Eyepiece for Alex. Another Tetris coming out for Schnecker as well. There we 
go, Tetris for both plays yet again. Alex making himself Tetris ready with an eyepiece, and there's another Tetris for Alex. Okay, another Tetris coming out for Schnecker as well. Just needs to get something into there, nice little spin. Uh, he has got an eyepiece dependency over on the left, it's not a good sign. Double eyepiece dependency on the left. It's going to cause some serious issues. An eyepiece has solved it. Let's decide to block off the left side for now. Mark Schnecker just having to dig ever so slightly. It's perfectly fine. Schnecker potentially creating a little well in the middle, but decides to not. Perfectly safe. And Schnecker getting himself out of trouble there. It's for another Tetris to 502,000 points into the kill screen. And both players now playing in the kill screen. Alex fighting to just hope he gets some points out of this. Whereas Schnecker fighting to make sure he keeps that lead. However, both players' stacks appear to have gone a little bit too out of control. So it's 459 to Alex, 512 for Schnecker. Schnecker takes game three and the match. So it appears Alex is out and Schnecker advances to the finals. So here we have it, our two players that are heading into the finals for Classic Tetris Pal January, it's here one. So we have second seed Morkos who went against Felinho and won, went against Kadenya and won, went against Schnecker and won, went against Alex and won. And is now going against Schnecker again, as Schnecker has managed to claw his way out of the uh, loser's bracket. Meanwhile, we have Schnecker, who went against Tim and won. Went against Pumis and won. Of course, went against Mukosh and lost. But then went against... Then went down to go against Andre and won. Went against Pumis and won. Went against Alex right now and just won. So, here we are. Welcome to Final Destination. There are no items here. There is no help. So here we have it, the last two contestants of the tournament, everyone else has been taken out. Very fiercely, might I add.
either way, I shall leave these two players to either relax for a little bit or to train for a little bit whilst I go and take a quick break. I shall be back in like one or two minutes. Alright, there we go. I am back. By the way, both players appear to be ready anyway, so I shall count them down for the finals of Classic Tetris Power January 2021. So let's go! Players ready in 3, 2, 1, Tetris! Tetris coming out from Mokos immediately, followed by Ishneka. So Ishneka with yet another Tetris coming out. Mokos just waiting for that eyepiece. Wherever it may be. There it is, eyepiece for Mokos. Tetris for Mokos. Let's go. Where is the eyepiece? There it is. Another Tetris from Mokos to bring up to 69,920 points. Only there was a 500 point difference. But either way, winning on an eyepiece, both players scoring that Tetris. So Schnecker in just a little bit of trouble there, but he does manage to get a Tetris amongst the garbage. Morkos fighting back with a Tetris of his own. Now 142,000 to 101, so the gap is getting a little bit longer. Another Tetris coming out there from Morkos. Schnecker finally out of the woods, back into where he should be with another Tetris of his own. Followed by Mokosh. There we go, even more Tetris coming out. However, we are reaching the point where it's nearly a free Tetris lead now. Mokos trying to keep his lead as far away as possible. Schnecker, however, in a good place right now. Getting a Tetris out of that. Mokos getting a Tetris of his own. However, he does have the column free well, which might restrict his uh, abilities just a little bit. However, Tetris coming out from both players again. Mokos deciding to build over the hole that has appeared. 
which is perfectly fine. The hole isn't causing any trouble right now. There's a twist from Murkush right there. Getting another Tetris out of it. There's a T spin for Murkush. He's using he's now using the hole to make himself Tetris ready. A couple of burns to keep his stack alive. And there we have it. Tetris for Murkosh. If he gets an L, this would be perfect. If he gets an I instead, that works too. However, Schnecker in some serious trouble at the top of his stack right here. He is slowly burning his way down, but just one wrong move, like that misrotated L piece right there, and that's it. He's out. 244 for Schnecker, not enough. Murkosh takes game number one. I mean, personally, if I was Murkosh, I'd actually continue, because that is a very good pace. 400k points, only 90 lines in, but he is deciding to not bother. But either way, Okay, should ready. Just waiting for. Uh, wait, no, Schnecker is also ready, so I shall continue. Let's well, count it down. Game number two. Players ready in. Three, two, one. Tetris. A little adjustment there from Murkosh with a T piece. He's getting a Tetris out of it. And now I have only just noticed something that is terribly bad. Murkosh's picture is dancing to the music. Like, it, it's almost the exact same beat as well. But either way, heading towards the game again. We have Murkosh with 95,000 points to Schnecker's 97,000 now. However, Murkosh is in fact Tetris ready. One more Mino, there it is, and he's Tetris ready again. Schnecker with a Tetris, Murkosh firing back. Just needs to get something down the middle right there. Schnecker getting a Tetris. So Murkosh unfortunately closing up his stack right as the eyepiece arrives. Let's have a nice little clean up though. Murkosh not quite comfortable with that eyepiece there, but he does get a Tetris with the next one. There we go, another Tetris from Murkosh. Now that Schnecker is still in the lead. Schnecker with another Tetris. It's 238,000 points. Okay, in some serious trouble right now. He's got a Spyro in the middle of the stack and he cannot do anything. He will be topping out with 238,000 points. Lokosh could very easily take this. Just nice and safe, and there's Tetris. So, Murkosh takes game number two. Schneck is going to have to win the next three games in a row just to reset. Alright, there we go. Both players are ready again, so... 
Let's get this game underway. Game number three. Players ready in. Three, two, one. Tetris. Say we got a couple of Tetris coming out from Muckers at the minute. Nice little eye adjustment there from Muckers, making himself definitely Tetris ready now. And there's the Tetris from Muckers. Schnecker firing back with one of his own, however. Schnecker at 101,000 points to Murkosh is now 98,000 points make it 120 now but apparently that's still not enough to gain the lead as Schnecker fires back Schnecker just having to build up slightly hang on, it's a little centre well right there Last stack, Schnecko opting for the triple burn. Goes for a nice little L tuck. Making the stack nice and clean. T Beast makes himself Tetris ready. More gosh with the Tetris though. Both players getting another Tetris though. So it's now 216 to 181 on Murkush's side. Jason Ecker making himself Tetris ready again. Both players with a Tetris. Mokosh with another Tetris. Schnecker making himself Tetris ready with the eyepiece. And there's another Tetris for Schnecker. 251,000. Now 274,000 with another Tetris. Gaining the lead, but Mokosh firing back and taking it back. Another Tetris for Mokosh. So that lead definitely didn't last very long. And we're now about halfway into the game. There we go. Both players with another Tetris. Necker preferably wanting a T right here, there we go. Just needs a J in, that's everything he's gonna need. Nice little clean up. There we go, there's Tetris coming out from Murkush. Tetris coming out for Mercosh here. Another Tetris coming out for Mercosh here. Sch Schnecker with a Tetris, though. So Schnecker's gaining the lead. 422,000 points. Another Tetris for Schnecker. Both players Tetris ready. Another Tetris for Schnecker. There we go, finally getting an eyepiece from Murkos. 441,000 points to 468. Another Tetris from Murkos. Schnecker now Tetris ready. Eyepiece for Schnecker, Tetris for Schnecker. Reaching a point where uh, this lead is going to start mattering. There we go, another eyepiece from Murkos, so he gets a Tetris. Where are these eyepieces? There we go, eyepiece from Murkosh, Tetris from Murkosh. 
122 lines in, he can only get two more. There's another Tetris from Urkush. He needs to build himself up a little bit more. There's the J piece. My piece will work. He's waiting for that I piece. There it is. 559, 60, 61 points. That's all he can muster, which unfortunately is not enough. Schnecker will be taking game number three. Schnecker continues into the kill screen of 570,000 points. Take that 576. It's a top out. It's definitely a close game though. Either way, both players ready for the next game, so I shall count them down. So, let's go. Players ready in. Three, two, one. Tetris. So just a reminder that Schnecker still needs to keep winning games just to reset. Mokris wins one more game, that's it. Both players getting a Tetris though. So either way, game's looking very even right now. Schnecker getting a Tetris. Gaining the lead for a short period of time. There is another Tetris. Mokosh fires back. There we go, another Tetris for Mokosh. Schnecker making himself Tetris ready. Another Tetris for Schnecker. Focus needs to build the right side up just a little bit. There we go, he's Tetris ready. Now he just needs those eyepieces. There's an eyepiece, there's a Tetris from Murkosh. Playing nice and high. There's another Tetris from Murkosh. So it's now 185 to now 194 for Schnecker. Next to another Tetris. Just needing to uh, find something to deal with the middle right there. There we go. Another eyepiece means he's going to get another Tetris for 234,000 points. Got a nice happy stack right there. Nice little spin right there. Where's the eyepiece? No eyepiece apparently. There we go. Tetris Murkosh. Mokosh trying to keep that one Tetris lead as much as possible. I think that a two Tetris lead now though. However, it goes back down to one Tetris again, thanks to Schnecker's Tetris. So Mokosh in a little bit of a situation. About halfway up the stack. Should be able to deal with it though. Meanwhile, Schnecker plugging as well. But he did get a nice little triple out of there. It's unfortunately not a Tetris, but you just take what you can get at that height. Either way, another Tetris Schnecker as they take the lead. Morkosh has dealt with his uh, situation though. He just needs an IPS to continue. There we go, there's the Tetris taking the lead back. Burning back down. 
of course, looking for that eyepiece. There is that eyepiece. There it is. Tetris from Murkush. Murkush trying not to make himself in, into a little bit of an eyepiece dependency there. Burns a couple of items in the process. It's perfectly fine. There we go. Multiple Tetris is coming out from Murkush. Now 398,000 points. Four lines in. Kind of seeing some more 500k finishes. Another Tetris coming out from Murkush next. Fires back. Murkush with another Tetris. There's the eyepiece for Schnecker. Tetris coming out from Mokosh right here, Schnecker just opened up his well, he needs that eyepiece now. Where is the eyepiece? Where is the eyepiece? Mokosh with another Tetris. Schnecker burning down, getting a Tetris. Yeah, but there's now about 50k lead, this is going to be a bit brutal for Schnecker here. The pressure is now infinitely on for Schnecker. They just have to catch up. And they have seven lines, now three lines to do it. They need that Tetris. That, that's not like they want it, that's a they need it. And they need to keep playing into the kill screen. That's 513. He needs something over to the right, isn't able to get anything. Murkush will be taking the game and the match and the tournament. Either way, regardless, all of those games were definitely great games. We got pretty close in all scenarios. So here we have it. Uh, actually, give me a moment. I, I would say here we have it, but I actually have forgotten to end the match. So let me just end the match right there. As soon as that shows up. Actually, give me a moment. Let me just quickly refresh that. Nope, that's not refreshing. Oh well. Anyway. So say we have our champion of Murkosh, our second place of Schnecker, and our third place of Alex. And of course, we also have our fourth place of Pumis. Either way, incredibly good tournament with incredibly good contestants. So unfortunately, this is where the end happens. Where we have our winner of Murkosh for tier 1 and our winner of Knight for tier 2. So thank everyone for watching. Oh, thank you everyone for watching and thank you to our volunteers for helping with Classic Tetris Pal. Of course, you know, it's not just this stream, it's multiple streams across multiple days. So thank you to January's restreamers of Paul Yeo, Jacob, and Sir Mesa, I won't thank myself. And January's commentators for Polio, Tugi, Jacob, Catalyst, Sir Mesa, and Paulista. And of course, obviously, on a slightly lower note, I would like to uh, say all of this was, of course, obviously in memory of Jonas Neubauser who, to anyone who didn't know, he sadly passed away about 12 days ago. He just collapsed and never got up. 
an abs well, all I would say is it was just an absolute earthquake to like I say not only classic Tetris but the entire Tetris community even communities that only speak about Tetris a little bit were shook by it it was ridiculous So yeah, serious shame to see him go. But either way, on that note, I shall say thank you to everyone for watching. And we should probably find someone to uh, raid, I guess. So let's have a look around. I nearly clicked on the uh, wrong channel there. So does everyone agree? Everyone agree that we should rate classic Tetris or is there anyone else that people would suggest? All open to options, yeah? I mean, the, the large majority of people seem to be saying monthly Tetris at the minute. Alright, so, let's go over there then. So, let's raid Monthly Tetris. Let's start the raid. Thank you everyone for watching. There is some more Tetris action incoming, and we will see you next month. Goodbye.